I'm gonna go ahead and start this video and do some things while it's getting ready to uh, shoot a string. This is uh, just to show you the inconsistency of this gun as it is new. I shot a string last night and to get some help on it, I didn't uh, record some data. So our starting pressure is, uh, according to my tank over here, the, the gauge on my tank is 2000 PSI. The uh, gauge on the gun here, I don't even think I can get it into position to show you, maybe, I don't know. But it's slightly under 2000, but I'm, I don't know. I have to think the gauge on the tank costs more than the gauge on the gun, so we're gonna go with it. I am firing JSB 18.13 uh, Jumbo Heavy Pellets over the chronograph here, and we're gonna go with 10 shots, and you should be able to see the readout right there. Safety off and we're ready to go. Okay, so that one came in at 624.8. 647, so we're climbing. Six sixty three, still climbing. Six seventy. Six forty three. That's a huge drop off. And now I think we're going to start to see it dive quite a bit. Um, I will say that initially the trigger is not that awesome. The bolt is pretty tough. All right. This might be our last shot. That's our last shot. Uh, we're at 573.8 on that string. So, and uh, I don't know if I can get it in there, but upside down anyway. That's what it looks like with the dot side on it. it. Barely fits. But I couldn't even get the gun sighted in yesterday because the uh, velocity was so erratic. I mean, I was just chasing point of impact <laughs> with the dot. And it was changing all the time. You can see by the FPS here on this spread um, by the shots. The magazine, I think, holds six or seven pellets. And I was filling every two. So, uh, let's see. Just for fun. Let's count it up. The magazine holds one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two three, four, five, six, seven. So if I shot two more, let's go on to another string. We'll just do this, press that. So if I shot four more pellets, we'll see what two magazines would get us off one fill. Man, it's all I can do to pull this thing back. This is so stiff. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and shoot a whole string. Why not? I feel like I'm going to break the handle off this bolt. It is so hard to pull back.
And I realize part of the issue I'm fighting, I don't know if this will pick it up there, is that I've got this in the... But, I mean, this is even worse than it was yesterday. That one, it went smooth. The inconsistency of it just tells me that it feels like there's nothing lubricated in here. It's just dry metal on dry metal. Oh, I forgot to look at my pressure at the end of that tenth one. Gosh darn it. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll make sure we have the ending pressure at the end of this second. nine I've got one more all right ends at 504 and checking the pressure on the gun I'm still well in the green zone for what the gun is charged and I went from 200 bar to about 140 Yeah, 1, 120, 130, 140. Yeah, about 140 bar. So that's from about 200 bar to about 140 bar. Um, over 20 shots. Um, I'll put these numbers in the description. Uh, please read the description of my videos. I keep forgetting to say that. I make mistakes in every one of them. I call guns by the wrong name. I say the wrong number and I there's no way I can fix that because I don't do this for entertainment. I do it for information. So I don't have fancy editing software. I can't even put text in a video anymore uh, to, cor to try and correct something that I used to say. YouTube used to do that but because I guess more people watch your videos on phones they don't let you put text on there anymore. I watch YouTube videos on a 54 inch television in my den. But anyway uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Oh, and as a side note, I don't know if you've ever seen my video on how to use this chronograph. I am so glad I made that video when I got it because I use it so in often. I have to go back and watch my own video to relearn how to use this dumb chronograph. I, I hate this thing. It's just so unintuitive. Um, I can't wait to replace it down the road with something that's easier. And I don't know. Anyway. Thanks. Talk to you later.